Hey guys, welcome to BalsaCircle.com where we do decorations for weddings and special events. And this time of year, I can't believe it, it like sprinted to us. It's It came so fast. But as you probably have all known, in the last few years, Friendsgiving has become quite the thing. It's become really popular. And I know that as far as having kind of two big events in such a close amount of time, we want to, we wanted to really kind of incorporate a high style, but low budget theme here so we have a rustic theme and everything's kind of like disposable so you don't have a lot of cleanup and everything just looks really really nice from our champagnes creams golds natural rustic browns and blacks and obviously we've got the different textures because that really kind of pulls it together and gives some really nice depth and uh, warmth to the whole uh, look here so we're starting off with our first DIY project. It's a banner and uh, we made it really easy for you guys. We already did a template that you can just print out below in the description. That way you don't have to worry about the sizes being all different and you can focus on making, you know, the best green bean casserole or potatoes that are on the stove. So here basically you can have the kids do it or friends that don't feel like that they're extremely creative. This kind of gets everyone involved. And uh, here you just have to do the cut out the um, template that we did for you guys. And here, basically, just make sure that your your ink is in stock, that you're, you have enough ink for that. So here we're just using a, a large glitter foam sheet, and it comes in a pack like this. So this is the size, and you can we did that just so you can use it for several projects. Here we cut it down um, to basically the size of the letters, where it gives you a border frame of about, I would say, almost an inch. I would say maybe three quarters of an inch on the outsides, and that way you can kind of get that pop of um, glitter on the outside. We made this easy breezy where you don't even have to take out the hot glue gun. You just have to do one large glue dot on there um, near the top, about an inch from the top, and put that bad boy on the sparkle foam sheet and you're ready to rumba. And now we're just going to attach it to a burlap cord ribbon. So here we're just taking some um, wood clothespins that really kind of tie in that whole natural rustic look. And there you go, you have your entire sign and it didn't take like any time practically. They go really well with these LED light garlands, basically that they're um, kind of like the fake candle with that, that yellowy sandy rustic look and it goes well to kind of stack them on a white wall. So as we move on, here we're using a six inch by 10 yard floral lace fabric roll in gold. And what's great about this is you're really using every single inch of this and being able to tuck it away maybe for Christmas or your Thanksgiving with your family. Here we're just making four kind of long individual ribbons from this one large roll here. And that will take care of four individual fork spoons and, and knife combinations. So here um, we decided to use a natural bamboo disposable tableware. And what's great about this, this not only adds to the decor, but you know, nobody wants to have loads of dishes um, when your friends are coming over. And especially if you have a lot of friends, you'd need a lot of tableware. So here we're just tying a bow and fluffing out the ribbons on the outside just so it gives a little bit of volume and character there and once you put them all together for this it's great because it fills all the holes gives it really nice depth and you can put it in a glass jar with some um, black beans and look at it's not only you know tableware but it also gives a really really nice decorative look decorative decorative that's a very I just made that up um, so here we go we're at going on to our pumpkin you can go about this two ways you can basically buy this at your craft store and they already have it done for you or you can kind of if one of your pumpkins survived from Halloween uh, you can take it spray paint it kind of like an ivory or a cream color and either paint the top gold or spray paint the top gold and voila you are ready you just need a gold sharpie this is a great 
great way to just remind your friends how much you love them and um, a great reminder what this is all about. So as you can see, the whole look with kind of like the pops of fall colors, that rustic look from, you know, the burlap table runner with the gold polka dots and the acorn salt and pepper shaker and the maple leaf ornaments. And what's a great, great tip too is to get a beautiful fragrance for your event. You've got these mulling spices in a crock pot and it kind of just pulls it all together and everybody, it's an experience, right? It's not just about looks. It's everyone's feeling warm and friendly and lovey and um, it smells amazing. So if you guys found this helpful, make sure you guys um, subscribe to find out what we have in store for more of the holidays and um, make sure that you like the video so we know that we're on the right track and we can shoot more tips and tricks as far as decorations for the future. I'll right, we'll see you guys next time.